every now and then I review a whole bunch of stuff for 31 days. Turn around, you'll hear me so long that you won't be, your eyes will gloss over and you'll be in a fucking haze. Turn around, Ma, shut up, every now and then I fall apart, cause I'm talking more than ever, and I'm talking more tonight. And now I'm going to talk about a review book. It's called Creature Features. You should take a look. I really love you tonight. I'll shut my fucking mouth off now. I'll see you on the other. Once upon a time, I was talking a bit. But now I talk for 31 days. There's nothing I could do. You're trapped listening to me. See you on the other side. Then, children of the night, what music they make. Alive, it's alive, it's alive! I got news for you, pal. You ain't leading but two things right now. Jack and shit. Jack left now. Do what? Flip you. Flip you for real. Y'all think us folks from the country drill funny like, don't you? Jerry, no! I'm all for you, Ma! Find us a friend. I've got to give me the education, Jerry. <laughs> What's up, y'all? This is Dynamo Mars. I am broadcasting live from the palatious Mars Ranch in Tokyo, Texas. Uh, excuse me for a moment. A uh, sip of Moe's uh, cherry Dr. Pepper, cherry vanilla Dr. Pepper for the working man. Uh, I was going to talk about uh, this week uh, a great review book. You know, I went to Moe's a few minutes ago. Uh, Right, we got one right down here by the ranch, and I ordered a home wrecker, which is delicious. Um, it should be called. Uh, it's one particular part of your home gets fucking wrecked every time. Um, back in the day, I used to have two of these, and it was uh, like death cult Armageddon in my bathroom. I actually shut down a whole bathroom every single time. Um, I kept just building bathrooms, ruining them, shutting them down. Um, the plumbers union tried to ban me from Moe's. It was an ugly lawsuit. But I get a home wrecker with steak and pork for extra meat. I get a big heaping of corn salsa, uh, cream cheese, sour cream, not cream cheese. That's fucking gross. And uh, mushrooms and onions. And the nice little girl asked me, would I like anything more? Where are you going to fit it, lady? Like, not in me. Not on a burrito. Like... That's a lot of fucking food. And then I realized that that was her very polite teenage way of saying, can you shove anything else in your mouth, fatso? Like, she didn't come out and say it, but that's what she meant. Um, So I ate her. So on to today's review. Uh, John Stanley. um, Leonard Malton of Hara, as he is known by Fangoria, and an endorsement by Leonard Malton, who... uh, is a big 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 horror fan um he does a lot of commentaries and stuff uh on uh, my universal a couple of universal monster sets i have um when i was a kid i used to get leonard malton and john landis messed up that's quite a juxtaposition um apparently i was afraid of drunkards with beards um so i grew up to become one uh, creature features is you heard me mention it in my uh review of the ultimate zombie guide Um, so it's Halloween time, right? You are looking to plan a Halloween film fest. You have a shelf. If you're like me, you have a shelf full of books, books about zombies, books about this, you know, the top 10 most obscure books, but you really want to fucking put it over the top this year. You really, you're, 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 you're bill by force at the awesome show outside the cinema. You're planning the Halloween throwdown. I need the right piece of trash 
to play this year at midnight. Um, I need something to really... I need the next Mardi Gras Massacre. Um, John Stanley's Creature Features is just short of 600 pages of very well written, very uh, on it. Like, you know, no bullshit reviews here. Um, his nostalgia is not lost when talking about some of these films and his love for horror is apparently there. But... It, he lets you know what's the crap and what's crap you should see and what's just fucking crap. So, uh, you know, you really, if you use this book as your, um, you know, Netflix instant TV guide, you will know what you're getting into. Um, Stanley, a very well-known horror host, is renowned for, you know, just being a fan of horror, almost like a contemporary, like uh, Forrest Ackerman. He put out this book I think I got it originally in 1989 or 1990, um, and I keep having to get uh, updated editions. It, it hasn't been up. It's obviously hasn't been updated to the point where it has contemporary films in it. Uh, you know, it's no Saw or Hostel or any of that stuff in here, let alone you know Cabin in the Woods and whatnot. But um, that's probably not what you're looking for when you're looking for something you haven't seen before, right? You don't want the stuff that was in the multiplexes. You want the stuff that was at the drive-ins. You want the, you want to find that movie that you found at 3 a.m. on cable, and you know it was back in the day. You, you know it didn't tell you what was on. You couldn't press a button and find out who starred in it and everything else. You caught a movie halfway through in 1989. You were shit out of luck unless you were. You, I remember crossing my fucking fingers hoping that the there'd be a title card at the end of the credits so you'd know what madness you had just seen um and i've used that to to decipher like you know by accident i have found a lot of films that way reading the review and being like i remember that fucking movie um this book comes out and rides around in my bag every time this year because i love horror movies i love halloween and i love reading about horror movies and nobody does it better than john stanley this is a treat of the highest order. Um, every horror film fan should have this on his shelf right next to your DVD deliriums, your uh, your fab press books. This is a fucking great book. Essential in my opinion. Uh, it's, it's expensive on Amazon, but you can find it from... I bought it from a company. Here's a plug. I bought it from a company called Thrift Books on Amazon's, uh, Amazon Marketplace. Got it really cheap. Got it for like six bucks. And this is a great addition. And for me, I don't mind beating it up. So paying the $40 that it goes for right now uh, firsthand is a little painful because I know I'm going to read the shit out of it. But John Stanley's Creature Features. I agree with the fact this is the Leonard fucking Malton of horror. Uh, it is a treat. Until tomorrow, happy Halloween.